Last year we said goodbye to graduate JD Iker. It's been about a year since I caught up with him. He has a new album out called Shifting, and his band seems to be doing rather well and plans to stick together. Compared to his first album, this sophomore album has a little bit of a change to it, especially in genre. In his first album, he went for a more indie sound. However, his second album is a little different from his first. JD describes the change that he made and why he made it. It kind of takes a, a change. We appropriately named it Shifting. I think it does have a little bit of a different um, sound about it. The last album was um, very much an indie record, and this one is a little bit more, a little more pop, a little more refined sound. Since it's been about a year since he's graduated, I asked JD if he actually misses classes. Surprisingly, he explains to me that he actually does. Uh, I definitely, definitely miss college. I would love to uh, to do another four years. It's it's a good time. I miss. Uh, Miss a lot of it. I actually miss miss some cla taking classes and stuff. I never thought I'd say that, but I actually miss uh, learning new things. Managing a band is a tough and tedious job for JD, so I asked him if he was ever considering getting signed by a label or if he ever wanted to get a manager. JD says that if he gets the right deal, he may consider. If the right uh, the right opportunity comes along, um, we're we're definitely going to look at it because uh, it is. It's very time-consuming to, to run to run a, a band, you know, as a as a full-time venture and stuff. JD tells me that most of his work nowadays is mostly with the band, and on the side he also teaches guitar. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty much full-time musician. I do uh, I teach um, guitar lessons a couple days a week um, uh, to kind of help supplement uh, my income and all that. But um, music is is kind of the full the full-time gig right now. And I can feel it coming, coming back. Back to me now I can feel it coming Coming back Back to me now And all my memories And all of my reasons They seem so And as far as members go, the Good Knights have seen some transitions. We're seeing some new faces. JD explains why some musicians had to leave and talks about the new members. We used to have um, two uh, band members, a violinist named Lou and a bassist named Jordan. And, um, you know, the band's kind of been through some interesting transitions, but um, as we graduated from college, um, there were some, some tough choices had to be made, you know, about whether we were going to pursue the music um, on more of a full-time schedule or um, you know go and seek jobs and whatnot so um, so a lot for for Lou he uh, ended up taking a job and, and I, th I think that was a, the right choice for him you know he had he had a great opportunity so he um, did that and um, Jordan was tied up with uh, a lot of other obligations and whatnot we ended up uh, kind of just friendly in a friendly way parting ways but you know it's everybody always says there's a lot of drama behind it but I think uh, it was kind of just the thing that made sense and everybody was kind of on the same page. We have a new bassist and a new keyboardist. Um, the keyboardist is Dan Prokop. He actually graduated from Westminster and I used to play in his band Spring Hill way back when. That's uh, one of the first bands I played in so um, it was kind of cool. He just uh, We started playing together and he kind of joined on. And then our bass player, he's an older guy. His name is Jim Murhut and uh, he actually taught me how to play guitar forever ago. So he was my guitar teacher a long time back and uh, sat in on a few shows. Um, and, uh, you know, just kind of bloomed from there and we said, hey, you know, you want to keep doing this? And he, he's been making it work. So. JD talks about his favorite song on the new album and explains why it's his favorite. Lately I've been, um, I feel really strongly about a song called Feel the Rain. Um, it's just kind of a personal one for me. JD also mentions that his success is highly due to his major and going to Westminster College. Definitely, yeah, I had a major um, in music and business. It was kind of a, an interdisciplinary uh, major, so I uh, got a little bit of both, which is great. So it um, kind of helps me um, keep all, all of our business elements in line, and at the same time I have some musical background and training as well. It seems that JD is doing rather well for himself. His band is getting really good offers, and he seems really happy with where he is right now. This is Jeff Klein for The Counting Line.